So we are back again with the Who to Who's from level 15 in season three of FIFA 22. If you are new to the channel, we have covered this in previous times, so you can go back and check them to see how close we were to the predictions of what we got, etc. And uh, we break down all their stats in game. So let's just go through the cards at the moment. So obviously we got ourselves a right back from the Liga Nos or Portugal Liga as it's called now. Then we got Willock from the championship and then we've got Nathan, the Brazilian centre back from the MLS. So going through these cards at the minute, obviously you've got yourself a very good right back there. But do we need a right back? That is a position that is missing, which we'll go through. But looking at his in-game stats, how tall is he? He's 5 foot 11, high high, 2 star, 3 star. Really good acceleration sprint speed. Header inaccuracy is a big no for me. I don't like players that can't header very well. And obviously his defensive awareness isn't great, which if you don't know what that means is, it means AI blocks. So when you do a pass with the AI intercepts it, or how they do their tackles. So again, that's not the greatest. So you would have to put something on there to boost his defending up. And for a right back, that's kind of silly. But his stamina, jumping is amazing. His agility, balance is amazing. Composure is not the greatest of it. means under pressure, he will struggle to get the ball out of his feet or pass the ball to the right direction, depending on if you put it on his weak foot or not. Having freestyle weak foot doesn't mean he will be awful. But it does mean some of those passes will be inconsistent. In terms of trait, he's got early crosser and that's it. That then leads us on to our next player, which is going to be Joe Willick's brother, Chris Willick here. And he's got four star, three star. Left mid, medium, medium, so not the best work rates for a winger. Right footed, so you can cut in and shoot. Again, great acceleration and sprint speed. Really good finishing and attacking positioning. But here's where the big red flag is for me. 73 shot power and 73 long shots isn't the greatest thing. Long pass is awful. That will affect his crossing and his through ball. So say you are on the halfway line, you're playing a through ball to your striker, which if you play a 4-2-3-1, that pass will not always get there. And his composure is awful. The right back had better composure, I believe. So having that is uh, a bit crazy. But in terms of agility, he's very good. How tall is he? So 5'10". So he is smaller. And again, really good stamina. But again, this card isn't the greatest for me. No, no great traits either. And that leaves us with the centre-back, Nathan. Who has got... For a centre-back in the MLS, we are lacking in those. And again, we'll go through the positions in a minute. He's got good short pass, good long pass for a centre-back. Great acceleration, and obviously he's got very good defense stats, all 83. This is the perfect recipe for a shadow because of his balance and his agility. Coming in at six foot two, low medium work rate, so pretty good work rates for a center back. Two stars, two stars, not really that important. His jumping, 99 strength. His aggression is perfect. That means he'll go into tackles and he'll fight for the ball. Obviously his composure and dribbling lets him down, but you kind of expect that with a center back these days. But it's more of his agility and his balance and his jumping, as well as the, the most rounded defensive stats I've seen on an 84 card. And he's got power header, which isn't something you want to see, maybe if you score from corners a lot. But we are lacking in that department. So let's just go jump into concepts and we'll just compare them to other players in their league and positions. So first off, we are looking at Cannon. And as you can see here, we already got ourselves a storyline card from the first season, which is Pedro Porro. who are they're basically similar cards. I know the pace is lacking, but his shooting's higher. Defensive ability is the same, dribbling is the same, passing is more or less the same, so they are very similar cards. Pedro Porro's got better links. Obviously, you've got the, the perfect link, or the strong link, sorry, to the centre-back. But that is already not the greatest thing you want to see. Then in terms of that, there isn't many better right-backs. Obviously, you've got yourself Wilson Manafar, who's probably better. This is a problem with these cards coming out. As soon as you get them, it's like, well, who do you choose? If you've already picked this card in the season one, there's literally no point picking this card. If you can't see who this card is, I'll raise my screens in a way. It's that centre back there, just so you can see who it is. Going back into concepts, back into defender. It's I don't know how many times EA need to do this to us. It's almost every single time. Obviously, you've got every other position you need. Is it worth picking them up? I personally don't think so. I won't be choosing him as a card. That then leads us on to our next player. Which leads us on, to, obviously, to Joe Willock. And again, we've got the same problem. We've got Chong, who's still available at this point of recording. I think he's there for at least another 25 days. And if you compare them two already, Chong compared to Willock, there is a huge difference. As you can see, in terms of shot power and long shots, Chong is just far, far better. Better links for Chong, much better composure. Better everything, really. And I know he's an SBC and you need to do him, but with the amount of fodder and how cheap 84s and 85s are, there is no excuse not to do this card. There are some great midfielders here that you can get. Obviously, he's part of uh, the season level 30. But you can see, and then you've also got this guy, the Inform. I know Informs are inflated in a minute, but look how close they are in terms of one is six ratings higher than the other. 
in terms of face stats they are very close i know it's not the most exciting thing you want to hear but that's how they do it. again they do this in fifa a lot would i pick willock i'm sort of leaning towards no he does do well for english objectives obviously and in terms of scoring with them especially with this trippier objective we've got in a minute but for me it's You've already got a player in that position who's better, who's higher rated already, and is coming in as an SBC. It's one of those, if you compare them, look, there is not, there's such a difference. If you look at Willock's finishing, is better, but if you look at his shot power and long shots with Chong, it's miles better. His composure is miles better with Chong. Obviously, Chong's passing is also miles better. His stamina and his jumping do lack. That is something to be aware of, but in all honesty when are you going to be really jumping only from corners and crosses which people don't really do not with Willock anyway in terms of height Chong is much better in terms of height obviously his left foot on the right hand side he's got better weak foot as well so I would personally just get the fodder for Chong and do Chong if you need a left mid from the championship and that leads us on to our final and third player which leads us on to Nathan and as you can see he's by far the best centre back slash defender in that league also one thing is a note ea love to bring out these milestone foundation players with the ones that we've got in season so this season we've got ourselves a championship league of portugal which we got last time so that would mean that mls is coming i would take this center back and i'm betting and you can come back and comment on this if it does happen or doesn't happen we're going to get ourselves a right back or a left back possibly a goalkeeper from the mls and you're going to regret not taking this center back i tell you now the closest he's got is this gold card, which is also 80 pace. I know Apara is in here somewhere. He's probably going to be very, very fast like he is always. But the problem I find with these silver centre-backs is they don't really translate very well, as I can't seem to find him anyway. Let me just double-check he still plays in the Prem or even in FIFA. Opara. But he's... Is it open now? No, so he doesn't... He's not even in the game anymore. So Opara's not even in here anymore. So your best... And also with MLS as well as icon slots you need brazilian players is this going to help you out massively i do think this is your best choice personally coming in at one of these players he's also one of the better players in the prem i know we got uh, in the mls sorry i know we got bow or bow from the season one but if you take both of them you've got yourself a nice mls base especially with Pasuelo later on if you do decide to take him but it's one of those i would personally going to take nathan i think for me he's the better choice he's the best center back in that league when we get milestones for that league as well it's going to help us out but that does not mean i'm correct but let me know in the comments down below who you're going to be taking if you are new to the channel and this has helped you out helps me out if you hit that subscription button turn on notification bell so miss a future video and i'll catch you in the next one